Hey guys, DJ here. Welcome back to my channel. Yes, I have a new intro because that sounds way better. So today I'm going to be showing you my look that I do when I don't want to have on a lot of makeup. Although this is going to look like it's a lot of makeup, but for me, it's a lot more minimalistic. Some people will be like, that's a lot of crap. Not really to me, but um, I've already done my brows off camera. If you guys want to know how I do my brows, let me know in the comments below and I'll do a video just on my brows and I've already uh, concealed them. I did use Anastasia Dip Brow. This is what I always use. So I'm going to be doing a subtle look today. Just, just a little pop of shadow, little contouring, bronzing. Just my everyday look. And also, if you really enjoy this video, please like it and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe. How could you forget? This is important here. Subscribe. And I know you guys have liked all my other content, especially that mystery box unboxing. That was good. The views have slowed down, though. But it's okay. And the last video was the Kesha Rose Beauty video. That palette was fun to play with, I have to say. That was so much fun. But let's get on with today's video. I have already primed my face. I used the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Eight bucks. It's so good. So, I'm not going to actually do foundation today. I'm going to do something I love to do. This I'm using Tarte Shape Tape as foundation. So, let's get started. I'm gonna. This is the shade Light Neutral. Now, I ordered this online. And when I got it in, I was like, I was like, oh, this is going to be nice and brightening. It looks closer to my skin complexion when it's blended out. And so, I've started actually using this mainly for like foundation and it works really well so I like to go a little heavier uh, under my eye because you know who doesn't and then I'll just like start spreading it everywhere and this is um one dip a dip will do ya look at this and we want to make sure we blend that out quick so I'm gonna use my beauty blender pink beauty blender and let's just start bouncing this in Oh yeah, ASMR. Like that sound effect, you guys? You like that? Alright, so it's gonna keep blending this out. Let me make sure I'm staying within the view of the camera. Well, I have my Carmex on, but if that touches the concealer, that will not taste good in my mouth. Who's had that before? Who's ever gotten like so much foundation on their lips they started tasting it? It's not a good feeling. It's shitty. It's like, Ugh! that's how it feels. I want to make sure I get, ow, that hurt. I'm a klutz. What else is new? But, um, you can see, it blends out pretty good. Whatever I have on the sponge, I like to kind of tap that in, in other places, as you can tell. Yes, I know my ring light makes me look white, but I've done this before at work, and it does not look like that. It's just a ring light. So, that's blended out. Let's do the rest of our face. And I um, haven't dipped in yet, so I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to get whatever product I can off. I'm just going to put that on my nose. Um, that's all we have. Let's blend it out, and then we'll go on new and do another dip cause a dip will do ya it's, I do go to work today so I'm doing this in the morning of course uh, but I really like said I like to really get under the eye like that go in there I missed that spot over here so I will do this oh yeah there we go blended Oh, oh, I meant to say, today's um, shirt, oh my god, this took a month to come in, but I'm so glad it's here. This is the shirt featuring the drag queen, Heidi in a Closet. That's my sis. She'll kick your ass in Pokemon. She kicked my fucking ass. That bitch, let me tell you something. That cunt, I tell ya. Oh yeah, I'm not edit, I don't edit videos like for language. Like, honey, what you hear is what you get, you know what I mean? I want to get the inner corner easier, so I'm just going to use... This Jeffree Star Morphe brush. I love this brush. This is like probably my favorite brush. The JS3. Literally so good for getting inner corner area on my under the eye. I know people use this for like contouring. 
I used it for those purposes, what I just did. So, I'm gonna do a little bit more under here. And then bring some over here. Or have some acne we need to cover up. And also my, like, beard line. Let's just keep blending my hair under the eye. Trying to get a good view. That ring light likes to reflect a lot. Oh yeah, look at that. There we go. Did I get my area over here? Yes. And also keep an eye on where... Remember, this is all concealer, so you want to make sure you're not creasing. We haven't got to powdering yet. I want to get another concealer. <coughs> this is a drugstore one. This is a good dupe for Shape Tape. ELF 16-hour camo concealer. I want to do this mainly where my dark circles are. I wouldn't use this on the full face because it is a little bit more drying, but only when I put it in the area where I really want those dark circles gone, it works. Because that's all I do, just a little bit. Like I said, a dab will do ya. Yeah, just in that area. This is only $5. And that works. Really? Oh my god, drawer is getting stuck. I got this plastic drawer component from Forever 21. There we go. You better shut, you fucking bitch. I know. Alright, so we're just gonna do this. And plus, this will give me a nice brightening effect because this shade is a lot lighter. I'm trying to get in there. You know what I mean? And you also want to blend this out fast. And get that brush. Where did I put the brush? Here it is. Get this in there. Get it in there. You really want to get that blend it out nicely. Okay. I didn't get any concealer on my forehead. Let's get the forehead. And you know, some people... Most of the time I do, I'll put it, like, right here. Like, the brighter color right there. But I'm not really focused on that because it's just my forehead. I'm just going to, like, spread this around. Let's just get our brows a little. Oh, I thought, I thought that fell off the little flamingo. How cute. Oh, let's just go around the brow just so we don't touch it. Okay. And now... Let's bounce that into the forehead. Blend, blend. Oh, I like that song by Peppermint and Coswell. And I'm never gonna blend. Hey, I don't know, that's not how it goes. That's just me. It's a cute song. I like Peppermint. Drag Race fans, anybody? That's like my favorite show to watch. It's very controversial amongst a lot of people. Uh, like, I, like, I'm on both sides i watch it for entertainment purposes i follow them it's a lot of fun i just like them they're fun i like seeing drag queens on tv um let's let me use a brush let's use a brush for this sometimes if it ends up getting on my brows i'll end up just getting my eyebrow brush and redrawing the line like here watch i'm doing this over here just trying to make sure that's blended i'll just easily get my eyebrow brush my morphe e29 and just literally go back over it. It's okay. Just go back over. Kind of kind of redo it. And it's not like they're meant to be perfect brows. You know what I mean? Let me go back under here. Let's make sure we're not creasing. Just go back over everywhere because we're about to powder. We're about to powder. I got my loose powder right here. Let me probably want to close that up so that doesn't dry. <laughs> I got my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. Six bucks. The best. Love it. And I'm going to tap some into my little lid. I'm going to get my powder brush right here. Another Morphe Jeffree Star brush. This is the JS4. I'm going to dip, dip pretty liberally. So it, And I like to do this so that it gets all in those bristles and then tap off 
top off most of it, and then I like to go mostly everywhere. It's gonna look really light, but we're gonna bronze. We're gonna bronze up, don't worry. And just get everywhere where there's concealer. And then, like I said, don't just go in like that. Tap off. And then, and then you go in. That'll crust you up too much. And then I'm just trying to go back in with the brush. Tap off some more. And just go everywhere. Because we put concealer. Concealer will crease if you don't set it. And you don't want that. I don't want to get no powder on Heidi right there, honey. I'm just going to dab more. I'm going to go into the forehead area. And don't worry if you get powder on your brows, honey. We got brow gel. We're going to do that. Like, that's the last thing I do. After everything's done, I put on brow gel. Uh, there we go. And we are set. After I do that, I like to go back under my eye with the sponge. And just detail that. Go back in with your JS3 brush. Just get your inner corners a little bit. Let's get your inner corners. There we go. I'm trying to do this fast because I don't want this to be like a 30-minute video. Our next trick, I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty um, Sun Kissed Sun Stalker Eye Linting Bronzer. That's the shade Eye Linting. <laughs> I'm going to use my It Cosmetics Brushes for Ulta um, Powder Brush. And I just cleaned this one. It's about to be brown again. I like to really get this brush covered blood off and then I let, and then just go right a little bit underneath my cheekbone and yeah just like that's how I do that yeah this camera really makes me look fucking white well it's just the the ring light oh so this thing right here my mirror I'm working off of probably like, where's he looking I'm looking in my mirror bitch and then it's gonna keep going yeah if you're on my snapchat djv808 I will obviously whenever I have face on I'm always on snapchat like oh look at the face look at me look how pretty I look I know I don't it's okay so keep going in with the bronzers keep going around the forehead do that typical one, two, three. But I haven't gotten to the the chin yet. I'm just trying to bring some warmth to my face. But yeah, I look white as hell, but don't worry. It's not like that in person. I've done this before. We've done this before, honey. We're just gonna keep getting our bronzer in. Keep going. I need to get some better lighting. If you guys have any um, ideas or you know any good um, lighting setups that give you the right lighting where you don't look white i would love that let me know in the comments below i'm just trying to get this everywhere well not everywhere obviously you don't want to go here i want to keep my under eyes brightened okay all right and then i'm gonna go through my chin area let me go right here go underneath yeah I look like a ghost hey Casper how are ya how are you Casper bitch you don't scare me let's see and then go down the neck okay and then there's that check your under eyes I just always do that. Go back over here. And then I want to go in with my blush. We might touch up our bronzer a little bit later, but that's how I do that. Like I said, it looks crazy on camera. I'm telling you. Trust me. So for blush, I'm going in with my... This is my BH Cosmetics Glamorous Blush Palette. This was $9 on Amazon. And you get 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 10 blush shades, which I only use a couple. Um, I have used this for eyeshadow before, so that's pretty cool. You can literally, maybe I'll use one of these shades for eyeshadow. That's an idea, but that's what we have right here. 
I'm gonna get my blush brush. This is from BS Mall. This is the face flat angled brush. Use code DJ check. No, I don't have a code. That'd be cool. But um, I'm gonna go in with the this shade right here and this shade. Mix them a little bit. It, they're very pigmented, but I just like to get it on the brush, knock it off, and then uh, look at that. Uh, oh yeah. And then uh uh uh. So I like to get the apples like this, and then bring it out. Do this. And bring it out just like that it looks like a lot all you have to do i'll just go back in with my bronzer over there you can also get your beauty blender and just go over it and soften it up it like i said it don't look like it in person get your powder brush you can go over it you can you can always soften something up um there's that what i want to do is get the flat end of my morphe sponge get some powder Let's get some more powder in the twirl lid. And I wanna cut. Cut. Let's see, I wanna cut this right here. So you go from where right above my lip, and then I just carve a straight line like that. And then same thing right above the lip. And I'll just go back in and I just wanna really Again, just sharpen it. I'll bring it down a little bit. Like bring it down like that. And then dust it off. I'll put it back. I just like that sponge because it's so sharp. And you can really get like a nice line. So now we did that. I'm going to get my uh, this concealer. This is my Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Concealer. I'm going to put this in my eyelid area. Just kind of kind of like as a primer. We're only doing a little strip of shadow. We're not doing no crazy eye look. No, we're not. So just a little bit of concealer. This is five bucks, and this is pretty good. Get this sponge. Yeah, we just do a little bit. Nothing too much. All right. It's blending it out. Okay. okay, so we did that. So, should we use... I had a plan already for eyeshadow. I never... I'll be real, I haven't used this for eyeshadow before. But I've talked about it several times. I'm actually going to do what I already planned on doing. I'm going to whip out the Morphe James Charles palette. You don't have to like the person to like the palette. It's okay. It's perfectly fine. It's a good palette. I use this a lot. Um, I forgot the name of this shade, but it's this one right here. That little mauve looking shade. I'm going to use that all over my lid. Literally, and that's it. That's all. And then maybe I'll pop a little shimmer in the inner corner, but that'll be it. I'm going to go in with this eyeshadow brush. This is the Morphe 534 brush. It's good for eyeshadow. I'm going to place my palette right here, and I'm going to literally dip my brush all up in this shadow. I think it's called Mary. Is that what it's called? It might be, I don't know. Um, pick up a little more. So I got it all over the brush. And what I'm gonna do is stamp it all up in here. I, it looks a mess right now, but don't worry. I'm gonna blend it out. I use this brush just to place the shadow. I just wanna place it with the brush. And then, once I have it where I want it, I'm going to switch brushes. You can use this for the whole look, but I like to, you'll see. So, put that brush down, get my regular eyeshadow brush from BS Small, and I like to really just, like, blend it out. Blend it out. I don't remember doing that much. I did this look when I was at um, up in Jersey with my family. I did this look. But, um, you know, just blend it out and I make sure it's covering the entire lid. And that's it. Just, yeah, that's it. So just get, I just want to, like, make sure it's clean on the sides, clean on the inner corner. And I go down. And, I'm actually just going to use this brush for the rest of, for the other eye. 
Just dip your brush all up in there. Uh, get your crease in. And then I'm just gonna like, is this the right brush? I don't know. So I'm just gonna stamp. I'm just gonna stamp it in. My eyes are sensitive sometimes. It's like these brushes are really soft, but like sometimes when I'm, when my eyes are like sensitive one day, it'll feel like it's needles. We're just gonna blend that out. I'm just gonna get some more shadow. And I'm gonna put this right over that. The other brush really packed on the shadow. But this is all we're doing, like literally. Nothing on the lower lash. This is just, I'm just adding a pop of color. I didn't, now when I got ready, I got ready in regular lighting. I didn't have my ring light. That's probably why the color looks really pigmented. That's probably why. Because um, when I did it, it looked really soft. Because I didn't have my studio lighting. This is not a studio. This is a bedroom. <laughs> but um, just blend Let's blend this out. I'm not putting nothing else except for this shadow. And I'm gonna blend this up. Let's get a little more for this eye. Oh yeah. Yeah, we don't go any lower than that. You see that? I'm just trying to just get just get some color in the lid. That's it. So I'm gonna do an inner corner highlight. Cause why not? Why not? I'm using my Kylie Loose Highlighter. This is in the shade Santorini. This is a bright inner corner. I'm gonna go in with this BS Small brush. It's like a little tapered, little corner brush. It is clean, it looks blue, but I cleaned it. I used it with a lot of pigmented shadows. I'm using whatever's in the lid. And then, in our corner right here. Just that, just a little pop. And then, yeah, just see that? See how? Okay, so let's close that back up. I have worn this as a regular highlighter on my cheekbone. And you're probably thinking, it's a soft look, right? You're gonna do a soft highlighter. There's no such thing as soft highlighter in this world, honey. <sighs> I saw some highlighter particles. You see them? Is it just me? I see them in the air. Get out. <laughs> Let's go in with our highlighter. Which highlighter should we use? Is there a special edition highlighter palette right here? Oh yeah, it is. The Peppermint Frost Palette from the Mystery Box from Jeffree Star. Let's take a little whiff of this. Mmm, peppermint. I need my highlighter brush, which is right here, the Morphe Y14. It's it's like a gold. I'm gonna go into the shade Ugly Sweater. Let's just really pack it on. And let's just go in. Let's just go to town. Ooh, okay. Oh. Oh, is she blinding? Is she blinding? Is she? I think so. Put that down and let's just go in on the other cheek. Ooh. Ooh. Is she glowing? I think so. I think she's glowing, honey. Ooh. I think she's glowing. I actually didn't. Do you like my little baby nose contour? I didn't do that. Let me do that. Go back to my bronzer. I can feel my nose running like fuck. I used that same brush that I used for the concealer for the bronzer just on the nose. Just a little. Just not a lot. It'll look like a lot, but it'll be seamless. Just... That's my little saying for this video. A dab will do ya. A dab will do ya. See, that just kind of warms it up a little bit. And then I kind of brush inwards. Inward like that. 
and then get your highlighter brush again. Whatever's excess, just on the bridge. Oof. Ooh. Ooh, that's my favorite. And my nose is running. It is the season of the cold. Um, whatever I have left over from that powder right here, let's dust it off. Get that off. And on this side too. And you see, it just cleans it up so much nicer. Over here, I'm looking in the, I'm looking in my monitor. I just want to touch that up. I might need some more bronzer over here. Okay. And then my nose is running. Okay, you know, uh huh. No one else uses this beauty blender except for me. So, whatever. Buggy blender. There's a new thing. I'm gonna make like a booger green colored sponge. Call it the boogie blender. What else do I have to do? I've done my highlight. Oh, brow gel. The Irma Decay Brow Tamer in the shade dark. It's not that dark, honestly. It's really not. I like to go where the front of my brow hairs are. Brush them upward. See how I did that? And then just go back over. This is just like a finisher, like a finisher product over the brow hairs like that. And then go all over the other brow hairs, just like that. I just like to brush them up so, so they kind of look sort of real, you know what I mean? Something like that. But there's that. I need some setting spray. I need a little bit of setting spray. Oh, okay, you want to fall. Rude. Let's just get a little setting spray on here. Let's make sure there's nothing else we need to buff out. Because if you spray a setting spray on your creases, that would not be cute. So just go back under your eye. We're already at 27 minutes. God damn it. All right little spray and let's just do pop on a nude lip <clears throat> got some new ones from uh morphe where are you hiding i got this new nude and you're high oh there it is i got this one i'm gonna do this one mannequin okay so Jeff star cosmetics liquid lipsticks i'm gonna use mannequin and i'm nude i just got this one when i was up in jersey this is good for ombre so i'm gonna line my lip with um <clears throat> mannequin uh, so i do like this fix my mirror a little bit okay and then do a line go to your top lip and then just draw your lip and then get a little bit more product and like that. Now I'm not coating the entire lip. Okay. And that's my sound effect I do. Whatever. Alright. Okay. So just like that. And then get I'm nude. It's much lighter. Oh my god, it's so much lighter. So get on nude and go. I'm going where you didn't finish lining. So do that. And then you wanna It looks, it looks like a bad line right here because I have a zip. Mm -mm. So that's gonna make it look like it's bit, it's like messy, but yeah. That's it. Yeah, that was mannequin and I'm nude. 
and then we did our setting spray and that completes the look that's it so let's turn off this light just so you can get an idea so regular lighting can't you tell like i tell you here this is the first time we're gonna be moving the camera from the setup here we go take a look at me take a look at me like right here see it's like a lot easier to look at i might put a little more powder there but like just saying like it's definitely not white just saying before you try to clock me actually here look in the mirror how do we do that no we can't we can't change the camera view i guess we can't but there's a mirror right there but i can't show you guys but um yeah this is just an everyday i didn't do mascara pretend there's mascara here and that's it let's put you back in the setup let's put you back in the setup and let's put the light back on yeah pretend there's mascara there yeah i flopped but um but that's it that that completes the look I um, appreciate you guys for watching today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also comment about the flop. How do you feel about my flop? I forgot to put on mascara for you guys right here. And eyeliner. That's a fail. Who cares? Like, comment, and subscribe because you love everything about this channel. And we are a growing family of 166 subscribers. Let's keep the momentum going. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day wherever you are. And always stay fierce. Mwah. Bye.